This next movie car is dropping jaws and breaking laws when you hear this sound. It's the Dukes of Hazard 69 Dodge Charger known as the General Lee. During the show, the car would get three times more fan letters than all of the main actors combined. Over 40 years later, it still has a massive fan base. The show went through over 300 Dodge Chargers in only 147 episodes. Only 19 show used cars still exist and Volo Museum proudly owns the holy grail of all of them. First five episodes were filmed in Georgia and only six high quality hand painted General Lees were built. Five of those six were abused or destroyed in filming. Warner Brothers moved the show to California for cheaper production, car parts, and even decals for decorations. The studio didn't want to pay to ship the six car to California, so they sold it. Volo Museum now owns Lee Number no. 6, fully unrestored with only 1,800 miles on it, hand-painted art, higher quality parts, and the roll bar from the very first one built. It's also the only one with the Dixie horn installed. Once in California, they just overdubbed the sound in post-editing. We also found that none of the doors were actually ever welded shut. The General Lee revolutionized car stunts and breathtaking jumps, with its highest peak being 16 feet high and a distance of 82 feet. Many of the jump scenes would be impossible because the engine weighs more than the trunk, so it would nosedive. So they filled the trunks with concrete bags to distribute the weight. But once it landed, the concrete would completely smash the car, a forklift would pick it up, and put another General Lee in its place. Due to the number of chargers bought and destroyed by the show, the General Lee inadvertently caused a huge Dodge Charger shortage. The car was the star of the show, so desperate crew members went as far as aerial searches to find as many as they could, leaving flyers on Chargers' windshields asking if Dukes could buy their car. As the shortage worsened and funds dried up, a desperate Warner Brothers decided to use miniature cars for the final one and a half seasons. These remote-controlled cars were used for the bigger jump scenes, so any of their remaining General Lees weren't destroyed, which got a major backlash from fans, critics, cast, and crew. In 2005, a feature film was released, and instead of over 300 cars, the movie only used 26 chargers because many of the shots were used with a very new technology called Go Mobile. Remote drivers would sit in front or on top of the car and be able to shoot high-speed scenes up to 90 miles per hour and do stunts with the real actors and not have to use stunt doubles. Some of these scenes are pretty amazing. Thank you for watching, and boy, do I have a creepy TV movie vehicle for you tomorrow! A hillbilly is sitting at the bar. A woman approaches him and says, You know, generally I don't go for guys like you, but I wanted to come over and say hello. And the hillbilly replied, Yee-hoo! You had me at General Lee!